Cancers, I hope you're doing so well. This is A Touch of Tarot. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to get right into your reading. The extended will be on Patreon as always. So Cancers, what I'm seeing here is that you have been patiently watching someone. Now, I know Cancers can move slowly because they are such deep lovers and also very sensitive. Remember, they are represented by a crab. Um, crabs have that hard exterior, but they have to watch out because honestly, they're not that strong if a human comes by and steps on them they have to protect themselves can um crabs also move to the side instead of back and forth so it's like you move away one way or away the other way and just watch and i feel that this is truly your energy right now and it looks like the person you've been watching is absolutely lovely so i do feel i'm reading for a male cancerian possibly the motherly energy you are watching and attracted to is probably someone that is very giving but unconditionally and doesn't even see how giving they are this is why you're kind of infatuated you want to see like is this person real and by the way the person is coming up as the fairy godmother now the fairy godmother she doesn't ask for anything in return you may be dealing with someone who helps so many people who's possibly helped you this is the type of person that will leave a gift somewhere and not really take too much credit for it just wanting to help this person nourishes people not only with actual physical um, food or something like physically but they also mentally help people realize what they can become what they can do and to move forward so i see you here cancers just in admiration of this person i feel that you are madly in love with I feel like you want to be around them. I feel like you sense that this is the right thing. But for some reason, you just wanted to double check. You just wanted to make sure uh, that this person is possibly everything you imagine them to be. So let's move forward and pull from these beautiful cards. Thank you, Sandra, for this deck. I love it. And I'm going to pull the cards first and then get into the reading. And as I said, we will clarify more on Patreon. Cancer. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Amazing. If you'd like, you can always fast forward and you can even timestamp if you really like to do that, if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so wow. This is a big move for you, Cancers. I am not sure why, um, but I do really have this energy here that you have your guard up. You're always you're almost just holding off, just expecting something to happen that may not be uh, what you want or that may just scare you off. So I really would. Um, I would suggest you release, right? And that you start moving forward. I want to pull, uh, we don't have to actually. No, I'm guided, yes. We're going to pull these ones now and then get right into this for some reason. I'm pulling it now. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is really incredible. Uh, amazing, Cancers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. This is beautiful, Cancerians. Okay. So I feel like you can't take it anymore. Um, you can't deny that what you're looking at or this person makes you so happy, gives you this extreme amount of energy. Now, what I see that the problem was, or not a problem at all, is this was very unexpected. You may actually be quite mature, Cancer. You may have thought, you know, love is over for me. It's not happening anymore. I've lived my life. You may even be a widow, a uh, widower. Okay, like you may have had a very long term relationship that you've left out or, or walked out of or left or or for I'm almost getting whatever reason it had to end. Like, maybe it was external factors out of your control. 
And that's why I feel like you are so shocked to have met someone so kind, generous, and beautiful. Um, this person makes you feel like you're young again. This person makes you feel like you're on top of the world when they are around you. And I do feel that this person cares about you a lot as well. I also am getting here that the patient's energy, like you finally came to a conclusion, but you really were waiting and watching, maybe even focusing on work or trying to focus on work. But you cannot deny that you want to go towards this person, you want to give to this person, okay. But as I said, I do almost feel in this nine of wands, it talks about being ready to make that move. Uh, you know, this person, this soldier, this this fighter, whatever you want to call it, it's taken off some of his armor, but he's still kind of prepared in case something happens, right? And he's not fully um, settled in the decision that it's time, it's over. You know, I can finally move forward. I can take this one and go where I want to go. So this may have left someone in quite some confusion, I do see the Queen of Cups here. Um, I know this is your energy, Cancer. It can be talking about that. It can be talking about that you realize that this person was or is your soulmate, but once again, standing there watching. But I actually feel with the feminine energy, because it's pretty gender specific so far, that you kind of left this Queen of Cups, this love um, waiting and even wondering and almost like lost in a bit of confusion when it came to you. Okay. So when we clarify this, it's really interesting because like I said, I don't think, I don't know if I said it or not, but this has been too heavy. You could not stop or deny this anymore. You want to go forward. You have the Knight of Coins with the Knight of Coins underneath this and profess your love. Um, you realize that this person is the queen of your heart is what I get. So the queen or king of your heart. But I really feel like you feel that this person deserves it all. Um, this may be someone who's just like Mother Earth, right? With the fairy godmother energy and the empress. Um, and like I said, you were just waiting and watching. And even I feel like, I feel like you really know this person, but there was a space between the two of you. I'll clarify that further in the extended. And maybe there was a pause. The thing I'm loving here, this is two new decks I'm using. And I didn't realize that in this deck. I know this deck, the Knight of Coins, is ready to go. But the clarification is also the Knight of Coins. And even this horse is walking, which is very uncommon for the Knight of Coins. It does represent someone ready to come in and take action. Knights are action takers. But often um, the coin knight is depicted as the slowest moving knight. Well, not here. Hear this energy, if it's you or if it's your person, is about to come in and profess their love. They're no longer going to be sitting and waiting. Whatever it was that they were hanging on to, they're about to drop it so they can come forward. Um, I do feel like you're going to either reach out to this person one way or another, and it literally is because you love them. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups, Cancer. So whether you're the Queen or the King, you're clarified by your divine partner here, okay? And I do feel like someone is about to get the shock of their life with the Ace of Wands under the Two of Swords energy, someone who was a bit confused, um, unsure. And it really does have to do with this Godmother energy, as I see both cards are quite purple. Um, very lovely energy, okay? So let's see what's going on. Date. And so I am seeing the Phoenix, and I do feel... Um, that that's relevant to take to say that you probably do know this person. This is a new phase you will be entering, rekindling, um, growing with this person. And with the dating energy, you might come in slowly, right? And just say, hey, like, can I date you? Can I can I get to know you more? Under uh, like the bottom part of the deck is wedding rings, uh, union, married wedding, uh, eternal love. Now, to be honest, this can go both ways. This can be saying you're actually leaving a marriage. 
um, because it's at the bottom. But I actually feel that this is saying that you have bigger plans for this situation, though you may come across as just wanting to date. It's because you still have your guard up, right, Cancers? So, you know, take that as it resonates. I, I would suggest just trying to be your strongest self um, moving forward. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So this is that. Okay. Let me just get... This was a stuck card, the Six of Cups energy, huh? Yes, maybe you were stuck in a past situation. Okay, so let's get a card here for Cancerians before I move into the extended. Okay, so I'm seeing double eight here, which is really interesting. But more importantly, this is the card of power. This is about you um, taking your power back, no longer being afraid. I kind of feel like a lion is definitely not afraid, but lions are kind of targeted, right, by humans. Um, and I just, I was referring to your crab energy so much. I just feel like you're finally realizing you don't have to worry. You're not being targeted. You can take your power and move forward. Um, and do this and have the strength to do this, okay? So Cancerians, if you want to join me in the extended, it will be on Patreon. I do have a level $4.44, which gives you access to all the videos. Um, and if not, I hope that you love this reading as much as I do. And I will see you so soon. Bye for now. Oh, shoot.